All right, so in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how you can use data jar in conjunction with reminder to create some pretty cool lists using a super duper simple way of getting it done. Now, you can use the dictionary. However, I recommend you use this way. So that way, if you ever want to change something, you don't have to, you know, go back to those shortcuts, try to figure out that dictionary and change everything up, up and down. The whole purpose of data jar is so that you can make life easier, call all your text there all your list there and if you need to change up some you just go right to data jar change it and it changes throughout all your different shortcuts this is the main benefit of shortcuts so let me show you how to do that all right so if you're new here the first thing you're gonna need is data jar this right here is data jar i think i, I had it so long i'm not sure but i think it's free and they have a tip jar if i'm not mistaken the next app you're gonna need is reminders because that's gonna be the app we're using so this is Apple Reminders. That definitely is 100% free. And the last one you're going to need is Shortcuts, which also is 100% free. Once you have these three apps, then we're ready to get started. So I'm going to just close out of that. And I'm actually going to pull up Data Jar because this is where everything is going to start. When we're doing this, I'm going to hit the plus button up here. And we want to use a dictionary and data draw. Now, the reason why we want to use a dictionary, think of a dictionary as a sophisticated way of holding a lot of different lists that allows you to do some pretty cool things. You can have as many dictionaries as you want, as many lists as you want. So, for example, if you want a dictionary that's just strictly about home and inside of home, you have different lists set up for different tasks or different things, you can absolutely do that. In this example, I'm going to create a dictionary based around the things that I would get for my kids if I was going to the store or the things that we would get on pizza night if we was having movie night. All right. So let me show you how to do that. I'm going to say movie night. So movie night is going to be the dictionary. So I'm going to save it. Then I'm going to come down here to where I see movie night. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to say plus. Now that that's a dictionary, I now need a list. So the first list name is going to be Jalen. The second list name is going to be Naya. The third list name, oh, hold on. If it's red, that means we didn't make it a list. I mean, this is text. So I'm going to edit it. And I'm going to come back and I'm going to click on blue, make it a list. And I knew that because it's color coordinated. Then you can see right here. It's down here. Then after that, I can say me. And I can say list. And then after that, I can hit a plus sign and I could say list and I could say family. All right. Then I could say save. Now, here's here's what we have. So for Jalen, we're going to say, OK, Jalen like pop. So I'm going to say root beer mug because that's his pop of choice. And notice I'm leaving this as text. So I'm going to say save. I'm going to add another one. I'm going to leave it as text. I'm going to say plain chips. I'm going to say save. And then right here, I'm going to say, mm, we could just say candy bar. Although he would look at this list and say, the only thing I got right is root beer. Now we're going to take a step back because Jalen is done. Then I'm going to go over to his sister, Naya. And for her list, I'm going to say grape soda. I'm going to add in another one. I'm going to say... I'm going to say chocolate. I'm going to say save. And then her next one is going to be plain chips again. I'm going to say save. For me, I'm going to say plain chips. Actually, it's not plain chips for me, but honestly, I want to run through this part because I know this ain't too, in too interesting. And after plain chips, I'm going to say, I'm going to say candy bar for me. I'm not a big chocolate fan. I'm going to say candy bar. And then I'm also going to put myself as root beer mug because for me, it would be root beer mug or cherry coke. All right. Now, the rest of the family. And I'm going to say, hmm, what could I call? I'm, gonna, I'm just going to say plain. I'm going to say hot fries. Now you're definitely going to want hot fries. And I'm going to say, I'm just going to say water because they're not crazy about pop. Although Cam definitely be drinking pop sometimes. I'm going to say Coke. And I would say, hmm, hot fries, Coke. We're going to say a candy bar, too. Because Gino definitely going to want some chocolate. All right. 
So I'm going to say save. So there we have it. Now, all right, these are what we have. This is our list. So we got Jalen, Naya, me, and family. Now, if I go back, we can see that this is movie night. Now, this how it looks. Now, if I wanted to bring this over, I can now open up shortcuts. This is shortcuts right here. I do recommend you stack them on side by side because that's going to make your life a lot easier. So what I would do now is I would say plus for new. And we're going to just we can call this movie night. You can call it whatever you want. I like to put a comment so I'll know what this shortcut does. So I would just put things to grab for movie night. Now what I want to do is, first things first, is I want to get value. So get value right here. Now we could just go to data jar. If you don't know what you're looking for, you can always just go direct to data jar. Click on data jar. It's going to give you everything you can pull up in here. This is what we want, get value. We're going to drop it right there. And you can see it says get value for a key path. So now what I want to do is on movie night, I want to right click. And I want to say copy key. Now you can say copy key or copy key path. They're both the same from my understanding. They both going to do the same thing. So you can see it says movie night. Whatever you label it here is exactly how it has to be here. So it is case sensitive. If it's, if you don't use case sensitive on this part, it will error out. So that's why I just like to copy it. All right, the next thing I want to do is I want to say choose, choose from list, which is right here. Now, because I get it, this is a dictionary, true enough, but it's going to output a list to us. So that's the reason why we're doing this. We want the values to pop up. And the values are going to be the individual names. So keep that in mind. All right, so when we click into here, these are the values that's going to pop up. So Jalen, Naya, me, family. Those are what's going to pop up, not the actual list part of it. All right. So now when I say play, we can see that's what pops up. This is exactly what it should be doing. So we can click off from there. The next part that we need to do if we want to get it into reminders and we want them to show up individually as items is we have to use the repeat tag. The repeat tag just simply says, hey, I want you to repeat this thing that I'm going to tell you to do with each thing in that list and don't count it as just one item. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So if we come back over here to repeat, so we're going to do repeat with each. You can see it says choose from menu. So it says selected item. That's what we wanted to say, select the item. The next thing we need to do, because what's going to happen is if we told it to repeat now, is not going to do what we want it to do. It's just going to repeat the same thing three times. So to get around that, we need to split these up and let it know, hey, I want you to split each one to its own separate line. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to split text. So split text, which is right here. And you can see it says split repeat item by new lines. That's what we wanted to do. Now that we have that, to test it out, we can click play. Everything should be on its own separate line. And you can see that it's doing this, which means each one is on its own line. And if we click right here, we can see all of these represent their own line. Now that it's doing what we want it to do, we can now add it into reminders and it'll show up as individual task to click off all right so now i just want to go to reminders i'm going to click on reminders and i'm going to say add new reminder and now when we do this we want to make sure you can see we're using a repeat item so we want to make sure we use the repeat item down here we don't want the repeat index if we do the repeat index is it going to repeat the same thing three times and that's what we want we, that's not what we want we want to repeat each item so now when we click play, it should automatically, we're going to do family. It should automatically put those inside. So you can see hot fries right there for Naya. We can see a Coke for Cam and a candy bar for Gino. So now if we go over to 
reminders, we should have that pop up. So if we click on reminders, we now have that right there up in there. You can see high fries, Coke, and candy bar. That's how we are able to do it. Now, really quickly, I'm going to show you how to do it with a dictionary. Although, again, I highly recommend against you using a dictionary. But if you just want to use the dictionary for a specific reason, then I'm going to show you how to do it. But the way I just showed you right now is the best, a little bit more sophisticated, but way is totally the best way to do it. Because if I want to change up something, I can come here, right here to data jar, come up in here. So, for example, if I go into movies and let's say Jalen all of a sudden likes something, well, we'll do it in family. Let's say Jalen, well, the family all of a sudden likes something new. So I could just say, okay, maybe gummy bears because I love me some gummy bears. So let's just say gummy bears. Now, if I run this exact same one again and click play and say family, guess what? Gummy bears is now going to be over here. As you can see, I didn't have to go into the shortcut and change anything. It all just shows up right here for me. When you use a dictionary, you actually have to change it at the dictionary. And if you duplicated that shortcut somewhere else, you got to change every instance of it. So highly recommend against it. But since it was the question, I'm going to actually show you how to do that one as well. All right. So if we come back over here. We can, I'm going to come up out of here. I'm going to link movie night up below. So if you just want a template that you can use and go in and change up, you'll be able to do it here. And I'm going to say plus. I'm going to say comment. And again, this is going to be create simple list. And then from here, is it's going to be easier. So I'm just going to grab a dictionary. Nah, that's not what I want. I want a dictionary. Why does it keep? Ah, oh, because it keeps auto correcting. There we go. Now, when you click the plus sign, all you're doing is clicking on array. And you're just going to click a few times on array. And you can see right there, we got four. So that would be me, family, Jalen, and Miha. Now that we have this set up, an array is just another fancy word for list. Now we have this right here, which is zero items. We can come up in here and say text. And you can see it looks just like the other one did. So I could say pop, candy bar, gummy bears. All right. That would be for me. For family, we could put text, 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 text. So now we can say hot fries, water, Coke, and we can say plain chips. All right. Done. Then we can come over to Jalen. We're going to give him his root beer mug. We're going to give him plain chips too. We're going to give him candy bar. Although he would definitely prefer some gummy candy. He's not a big chocolate person either. All right. With Miha or Naya, we're going to give her plain chips, grape soda. Although she way too bougie for grape soda. And we're going to give her her last one is going to be, let's say, chocolate. I'm going to say done. Now that we have that part set up, which is the dictionary, everything else is the exact same way we just did in the exact same in the last shortcut. All right. So we're going to do a choose from list. We're going to drop it right there. Next, we're going to grab reminders and we're going to add in create new reminders. Now, this is going to go one of two ways. So I'm going to click on this is choose from menu. This is what this is. Select the item. So that's what we're going to do. Now, this, this may not work like this. If, either way, it's going to add it to reminders, but it might not come up individually. It might come in at one big chunk. But let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm going to click play. I'm going to say Jalen. And you can see right here it went through, but it's coming up in one big chunk. As you can see, root beer mutt. That's not what we wanted to do. So in this case, if you're getting that, what you have to do is we have to do a repeat. So I'm going to delete that and we're going to add in our repeat. So repeat with each and we can see it right there. And we're going to say split. So we want to split the text to new line. It's already there. And now we can add it to reminders. Again, I highly recommend against this. So we're going to say add new. 
And now when we do it, we should get it. And remember, we want repeat item, not repeat index. It should, both of these should say repeat items. Now when I click play, I say family. You can see it's showing up the way we want it to, which if I click right here, you can see it all showed up as individual. So when we come back over here, we got all four of them individually. So that's how you do it with data jar or with dictionaries. Again, highly recommend you use data jar. It's way better, way more sophisticated, and it's a lot easier to use if you need to go back, change something, or add to it. With that being said, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Till next time, later.